Get ready for all the highlights of Valley High School football. It's time for Action for Sports Friday Sports Extra. Hello and welcome to Friday Sports Extra coming up over the next 15 minutes. Old rivalries flare up once again like Port Isabel and Raymondville, Marine Military Academy and Brownsville St. Joseph. While it's another round of the Valley versus the Coastal Bend for three of our local teams. But first we are talking about a great rivalry. Just because it's one sided that doesn't make it any less important to the towns that are involved. Such is the case in the Battle of 506. Action 4 Sports reporter Brendan Fitzgerald live at Lions Stadium for Santa Rosa at LaFeria. Clay, the Battle of 506 has not been much of a battle over the last 18 years. LaFeria had last lost this game in 1993. Meatloaf topped the billboard charts back then. That's the last time the Lions lost this one. Let's take a look at the highlights. The seniors did not want this team to be the one that snapped the streak. Lions ready to play, and they showed it early on. First quarter when we picked things up, scoreless until Gilbert Jimenez, the star wide receiver, runs, not catches, the opening touchdown of the game, 10 yards around the right side. It was 7-0. Biggest play on offense in the game for Santa Rosa was a punt. LaFeria botches the catch. Eddie Perez recovers it for the Warriors. That leads to this. Adrian Canales throwing on the run, finds Caleb Kemp in the end zone. 30-yard touchdown. They missed the extra point. It was 7-6 LaFerry with the lead, but then the Lions took over. Tip drill interception. That's why you practice it all week long. Nick Chapa picks it off, and they would turn that into a field goal. Later, special teams touchdown for the Lions. The punt is blocked. Brandon Ramon hops on it inbounds in the end zone. 23-6, LaFeria led at the half. They just wrapped this one up. 30-6, the final. LaFeria has won 19 straight. Battle of 506s in non-district. They go to 4-0 on the year. But the bigger news for LaFeria in this one comes in the form of injuries. A costly win. Gilbert Jimenez left the game in the third quarter with an injury. No reports yet on that injury. The bigger one, Chris, uh, the quarterback, for LaFeria. Chris Estrada is his name. He left with a shoulder injury, was wheeled by us a few minutes ago in a stretcher. Looks like he is done for the season, early reports say on that one. So maybe the bigger news in this one isn't that LaFeria won the game, but who they have to go forward without this season. Clay, back to you. Wow, that's a tough one if LaFeria loses both Estrada and Jimenez. Okay, thanks a lot. We might go back to you a little later in the show if you find out anything on that one, Brendan.